Into Portsmouth Harbour steams the Soviet cruiser Orjonikidze, bearing Prime Minister Nikolai Bolganin and Party Secretary Nikita Khrushchev. It's the first time Russia's leaders have visited Britain since the Soviet state was founded 39 years ago. Bulganin and Khrushchev stand with the cruiser's captain as the horses are pulled ashore and the big warship comes to rest. The Russian leaders walk down the red carpeted gangplank while a guard of honor from HMS Victory presents arms. As they step ashore, the band strikes up. Bulganin and Khrushchev stand bareheaded. Soviet Ambassador Yakov Malik greets them on the quayside, and then the visiting Premier inspects the Guard of Honor. Himself famous as a marshal before he became a head of state, Nikolai Bulganin appreciates a smart turnout when he sees one. 4,000 people pack the route to the harbour station. Within a few minutes, the visitor's train is on its way to London. At Victoria, embassy officials and their wives are waiting with Sir Anthony Eden and members of his government to welcome the Russian guests. The train is still moving as the Soviet Premier steps onto the platform to be greeted by Sir Anthony Eden. Khrushchev is close behind him. Bulganin tells Sir Anthony that they bring heartfelt greetings to the Queen and people of this wonderful country whose cultural and scientific achievements they admire. The Soviet Union, he says, wants firm friendship with Britain and the United States, and international peace demands it. Sir Anthony tells them, I hope that we shall be able by our work to improve the relations between our countries and our peoples. Hosts and guests leave the platform for the cars which are waiting to take Bulganin and Khrushchev to the hotel. Outside, thousands of Londoners are waiting for a glimpse of them as the convoy, flanked by a motorcycle escort, moves towards Hyde Park. Much has happened since Britain and Russia stood as victorious allies among the ruins of Hitler's Germany. Differences have arisen, which at times have seemed almost insoluble. But today, British and Soviet flags flying side by side on a London hotel symbolize the hope of all of us that in spite of our differing systems, our two countries will find a way in which we can live and prosper with each other to the benefit of the whole world.